All right, so I had to do a part two of um, the giants being released from the north. It's uh, chapter 55 from the Book of the Bee of Gog and Magog who are imprisoned in the north. So definitely check out part one, but this is the very end, and then I'll do some commentary on it. Um, they will eat dead dogs and cats and abortions of women with the afterbirth, and they will give mothers the bodies of their children to cook, and they will eat them before them without shame. They will destroy the earth, and there will be none able to stand before them. After one week of that sore affliction, they will all be destroyed in the plain of Joppa, for thither will all the people be gathered together with their wives and their sons and their daughters, and by the command of God, one of the hosts of the angels will descend and will destroy them in one moment. That's the end. So it's only two pages, and this is right before the Antichrist, right there. That's the next part. That's when the Antichrist is revealed, the coming of the Antichrist, the son of perdition. Now, I'll read that probably later. That's about four pages, but I wanted to talk about something. If you think that it's not possible that giants could be allowed to come on the earth and do that, look at how wicked the world is right now, number one, and think about the stories about Nero who used to kill Christians in the Colosseum. And think about our Colosseums that we have where people love to watch like UFC. And that's just like what's on TV. What happens on the dark web and stuff is way, way, way more evil. The things Hillary Clinton has done are way, way more evil. Now, think about Nero used to put giants in cages and let, let the giant take a Christian and rip their arms and legs off and eat them right in front of him. He used to take Christian bodies and use them as candles on fire to light his parties. These people are wicked. And I don't think that we as Christians understand some of the things that the Christians of that day had to go through. And the one of the reasons why the early Christians had to go through such hard times is because they were writing and preserving the very books that I am reading to you right now that were dug up in Qumran. They hid them in earthen jars because they were being hunted and killed for what they knew. And Jesus allowed that to happen so that we in the future, when there's way more people on the earth, could understand these things and be saved. That's why the Comforter will come and bring you into all truth. And in those later days, that's when the wine comes. Like at the wedding feast, the water was turned into wine. It is a wonderful thing the Lord has done, but people just don't perceive it. They don't even think about it or even care right now, but they're going to care really soon when everything gets shut off. 